Hey, Facebook, what's going on? Coming to you live in a Reliable Aid, Inc. Facebook group. My name is Kion Church, a.k.a. the Big Hearted Caregiver himself. I'm the founder and administrator of the Reliable Aid, Inc. Caregiver community. And what I do is I help people with their parents and their loved ones, keeping them out the cold stop nursing home. Now, listen, if you happen to need my help, 302-689-3240, hit me up. We'll see what we can do to uh, best see how we can help out each other. Now listen, this episode is really uh, been on my heart. It's how much you mean to your patients and your loved ones. You know that you're in their life. Kinda was uh, the other day filled in for a, a, a shift. So I, you know, every now and then I take me a shift too, you know? So uh, happened to be big earing about the patient and they was talking about, uh, oh yeah, he be running the people through the rigmarole and oh, he likes this and he likes that. He, he likes his, uh, he send you to the store for the milk and and the sodas and the, and, and the uh and the uh, his lighter for his cigarettes and blah blah blah. I said, let me go ahead and take this shift. You know what I mean? Went on over to the patient's house. Uh, talked to the guy. He says, hey man, I, I need you uh, help me. I need to take my medicine, so I want you to go to the store for me. I said, cool. I go to the store. What you need? He said, man, I want you to get me uh, some milk. I said, what kind of milk you want? He said, man, give me the big one. I said, you want the one. He said, I said, you want the one in the paper top? He said, no, no, no. He said, I want the old school. He said, you got the uh, the little band on. I want you, I want to pull the band. I said, the pop top. He said, the pop top. Exactly. I said, cool, man, no problem. He said, man, I I, I want you to give me some, uh, a lighter, man, for my cigarette. I said, cool, man. I said, he said, I don't want that. Pla I said, you don't want the plastic lighter? He said, no. I said, I said you want a bit? He said, yeah, yeah, give me a bit, man. Give me a bit. So, you know, moral to the story is, you know, I came back with his stuff. He had breakfast. He had a good time. Went on, had a productive day. You know, didn't get a people know stuff later on because I think he's, uh, he, he, he went on a dialysis after that. Had a good day. Spoke highly of me. You know, you really mean a lot to these people, these patients, these loved ones, these parents. Take care of these people, man. Your parents are your best assets, man. I keep telling y'all, listen, if you need me, let me know. Be safe out there. We got this uh, COVID-19 pandemic going on along with a whole bunch of other craziness. So I just wanted to drop that on you. If you want to leave your big hearted caregiver story, you know, drop it on us in the group. You know what I mean? Let us know, you know, how much them patients have shown you their love. Because I know they appreciate you as good a person as you are. I might then say that with a proper English, but you know what I'm saying. I love you. They love you too. Talk to you soon. Thanks.